Hi everybody, it's Martin the Flickin' Feathers again today and I'm tying a wee emerger part and this is Stan Headley's Crippled Midge tying a sort of bibio version As always I'll put a materials list in the description along with a link to my Patreon page for anybody who would like to support my channel and get access to the members only content along with being entered into the monthly giveaways So Got my hook in my vise, I'm just going to start my thread. It's black 8 it's a size 12 all purpose medium weight I'm using. You can tie them with 14s if you want, 16s. I'm going to take some yarn, right, just some white dry fly yarn, parapost, antron, poly yarn, whatever you want. And I'm going to tie it in at the where the back of the thorax will be, right? So that's if you imagine a midge pupa, that's a bit there. Just catch that in. Then I'm going to take my hackle and we'll just tie that in as well at the same time. And for this fly I'm using a grizzly, but obviously colour choice is up to you. And I don't worry if what side's up or down because you're not going to leave the parachute as sort of normal. In this, and I'm just going to tie everything back until I'm sort of at the start of the bend, maybe even nearly going around it, just a wee touch, right? Threads at the barb. I'll trim these breathers at the back, just to the back of the hook there. Then I'll get my rib. Um, oops. Ribs up to you. Uh, I'm using UV buzzer wrap, hens stuff, but um, you can use pearly tinsel, you can use mirage, anything really, it's up to you. That's a medium. I'm just going to quickly just run up and back down and tidy everything up, make sure everything's tied in, well tied in an extra wrap or two back there, I just want that a wee bit further. So then I'm going to get some sulphur. Again, you don't need to use sulphur. Um, I've seen some lovely examples of these tied with like, um, hair's, hair's ear or uh, other dubbins. That vicuna dubbin that's out now might be quite nice as well. So, anyway, got a wee noodle. I'm going to come up and get that started. Just come up. You don't want it to be too heavy. A wee bit extra there, so just take it away. Save it for the thorax. I'm just going to tighten that back up where I've sort of picked it off. And then from a wee hot spot of orange. Fluorescent red, sorry. Uh, fluorescent red seal. And again, I don't want very much at all, just just enough to give that wee bright highlight. Then I'm going to come in. In front of my post, I'll take a couple of wraps. Not you don't need to go nuts. Just two or three, just to post it a wee bit. It doesn't need to be extremely posted. And then I'll take my rib up. in front of the parachute post. It's just easier. Tie back towards the post and trim away my waist. So that side for the next one. So I'm ready to wind my hackle. Just got to as you would a parachute. One turn under the one the previous until you've got no, three, four wraps, 
something like that. Enough, enough is you would say would float the fly, and then just catch that with your nail against the shank, tie it off. I'm just going to come in, saw it, saw it away, so I don't trim anything that I don't want to. Then anything going forward, I'm just going to sweep back and tie over it. Right? It doesn't matter. Um, it won't matter that there's hackle fibres that are not on the post. Just to add to that sort of half formed wing of the like the crippled effect. Some more black sulfur. Again, you could change this if you want it. I'm going to start at the eye and build up coming back towards the wing post. And then I'm going to just run my thread through just to tighten it up. And then threads back at the eye. So take a hold of your post, sweep everything with those hackle fibres back and pull your post forward quite tight. Catch it in with an overhand wrap. Two or three turns, lift it up two or three turns in front and then another couple there and that way you know it's never going to slip I'm just going to come in and hand, put finish by hand on this fly it's a wee bit easier I think than using the tool and I'm going to put two on Make sure it's flat, right? Um, you can see there, it gives a great effect. Yeah, it really, I mean, it really, really works well. It's a very nice way of merger pattern, or cripple, I should say. But I'm sure they take it as an emerger. Trim your breathers, lengths up to you. I like them fairly short. And then, if you want to, you've got a Velcro rough that up slightly. There you go. Lovely. You've got a varnish and the fly is done. So, hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Tight lines guys. Bye.